everyone, Lady Phoenix here, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. Yay! With all the Zelda hype that's going on, because yes, Nintendo has finally announced a new Zelda game where we can control Zelda herself. Uh, you know, I figured, you know, why not bring some Link to the Past to the channel? You know, why not? I'm going to screw it up, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> So I will be going for everything in this uh, Let's Play. I'm not going to be efficient at it. <laughs> um, despite how great this game is, it, I mean, everyone knows this is top tier Zelda right here for eh, pretty much everyone that I know. <laughs> Me personally, top tier Zelda is Twilight Princess, but that's just my opinion. Um, but this would be like in like the top three, top five of Zeldas. And it definitely is in my top three. I would give this Twilight Princess of an Ocarina of Time, um, like my top three Zeldas. Honorable mention is Link's Awakening. Minish Cap is fun too. But Link has pink hair, woohoo! Let's go in here and grab our lamp. I don't, I'm not going to do a speed run of this. I don't know the game like the back of my hand, like most people do. I am practicing this off screen. You're gonna hear the uh, low health meter quite a lot <laughs> in this let's play. Uh, but I I really do have a Zelda itch and it's even better, like I said, now that the Nintendo Direct has just pretty much blew everyone's mind. So, and ironically that's coming out uh, towards the, like the later portion of the year. I'm sorry, uncle, but you got pretty much owned. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. And we'll never know what Zelda is to us. She's just some random chick that we've been saving for since the late 80s. But uh, apparently in 2024, later on this year, I can't remember if it's September or November because it's another, I think it's September. I think November is um, Dragon Quest, which I'm excited for so so many games so little time you know how I go as a gamer guys <laughs> but this is our our hero link and we're controlling him like any other freaking Zelda game and like I said I will be going for 100% um, me I'm gonna be taking this approach of just kind of like can I try to avoid enemies that's typically how I play Zelda but the earlier stages of Zelda, they have you like kill all the enemies in order to make the, um, ow, make the key appear, whatever the case may be. Um, that's just how it is. So like I said, I'm going to, sometimes I am going to stumble in rooms and things of that nature, stumble with the controls and whatnot. Uh, main, like I said, it's, it just is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. I don't have this mapped out to memory like some of you guys do, but that's okay. As long as I have fun. So don't get on my case. <laughs> but we have to get start things off here in Hyrule Castle is where we're at. And we have a burrito. It, not really, it's a map. But we have the map. Oh, right now we gotta, oh, Haha, ha, you missed. Right now we, we, we're on our way to save Zelda. We, we gotta save her because she didn't spoke to us telepathically somehow, some way. We don't we don't question that, but uh she communicated with us. Why us of all people, I don't know. Cause because because we're you know, the ones that can the only ones that can save the world, you know, a whole child. <laughs> Isn't that how all video games go? At least with Final Fantasy, it's always the teenagers. <laughs> and Sid. And in this room, we have a key item. Hey, listen, buddy, buddy. Ow. Cut it out. And we got a small key. Oh, speaking of that, yeah, we have the boomerang. Let me go ahead and set that. Because I'm be over here pressing the Y button, accidentally using up my magic power and stuff like that. And at this point in the game, it's kind of crucial to hold on to my magic power. That's what that green bar is over to the far right. So like I said, we're, we're going down to the deep depths of the castle to uh, save Zelda. 
we gotta go save a girl, man. And now that I got this boomerang, I will use this thing. I ain't afraid. One whole rupee. Okay, we got that ball and chain guy, and that's Zelda right over there. Hey, give me that. Hey, man, he usually don't travel this far. Whoa. Oh, two pots. I thought it was three. At the big key. Zelda, hey girl, how you doing? Pretty sure all the soldiers being stabbed by my sword, you know, probably tipped you off. Yes, the, the, the wizard is bad and we uh, must get rid of him. But first we gotta get you out of here and open this chest. Rupees, 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 rupees. Green is one, blue is five, and red is 20. So as far as like color rupees, that's all you're gonna get. You gotta remember this is like 1991, 1992. So silver and yellow and uh, purple, they, they, none of those existed. We do have an instance where you can get 300 rupees and 50 rupees. They just would just be like a green rupee with the small number indicator next to it. But it wouldn't be an actual, like a different color. Oh, I'm so excited to bring Zelda. I look, I, oh man, it's been a while since I brought Zelda to the channel. I thought it was like maybe three years. I think it's like close to like four or five since I did Zelda 2 which is unfortunate because like dude I love me some Zelda and I've noticed that with um The Walking Dead as well I think it was like seven eight years since I did uh The Walking Dead which yeah I could talk about it because it's being uploaded Monday this is going in a Tuesday Thursday slot but yeah it's just been such a long time since I did sequels to game series so Bigger, why not, you know? Oh crap, did I just go out? I just got to just go out like a doof. Go down here. There we go. The old man, isn't that kind of rude? You're a princess, you shouldn't be saying it like that. The old man. Okay, screw you guys, we don't care. And then don't, don't look at the girl. This is where her dad died, which was uh, kind of morbid. It was just a whole skeleton figure right here. <laughs> Alrighty. Into the sewers we go, and it's going to be kind of dark. So if you want to, you can use your magical lamp. But uh, Zelda's forehead is doing, you know, just the trick. So uh, <laughs> that that's kind of me. Well, I have a big forehead too, so I mean, <laughs> it, it can't be helped. Yeah, I mean, if you got a big forehead, you got a big forehead. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh. Oh, it's just stairs. I thought I had to look for a key, or or am I thinking of the, of another room? Oh, ropes. I I I know they're snakes, but they're they're called ropes. Oh God. Oh my God. I didn't see you. Okay, okay, I got my hearts back. It's all good. All right, come on, Zelda. I guess it's not all her forehead. You know, it's some of uh, Link's shield. Did that not get, take away a heart? Huh. Oh, if you decide to use your ma magical lamp, it's only a temporary fix. Now, is it under a pot or is it in an enemy or no it's in a chest silly girl say i told you i don't remember this game you know quite well that's why i'm playing it off screen i've always done that with zelda like zelda one i practice zelda two i practice well then again i mean it is zelda one and zelda two <laughs> like um it, it, it it's especially zelda two you definitely want to practice that game <laughs> Rats do drop a bunch of, uh, money. Am I missing a rat? Oh, wait, no. One of these instances where it's the enemy that drops the freaking key. Or am I misremembering? Ooh, rupee. It's not off or not, though, because, uh, like I said, th these guys are, uh, <clears throat> dropping the money. 
And you're gonna need plenty of money in this game, trust me. Trust me. We'll actually be using quite a bit of money in the next video. Uh, oh, hey, 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 hey. You got anything? No. I like how I said at the beginning that, you know, I don't usually kill all the enemies, but uh, so far I've killed everything. <laughs> Ow. 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 Stupid keys. Okay, we got a locked door. I think one of these. Come here, buddy. There we go. See, I knew I was, wasn't was crazy. I knew one of the enemies dropped the key eventually. Well, we got a bombable wall there. We can't do nothing about that. We don't have any bombs at the moment. In the next video. In the next video. We'll have plenty of things to blow up. Alright. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Now, I gotta be careful. Because these uh, rats, they can gang up on you if you're not careful. Do I have an extra... Just looking for health. Nothing. Okay. Jerks. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let y'all go. I'm gonna let y'all go. Go, go. Okay, thank you. If I pick the wrong one, the whole bunch of enemies gonna show up. Ooh, money. Hey, it's money over here. Okay, I did the left one. Oh, Zelda, shut up. I know that. Yay, I picked the right one. Is it always the right one? Well, yeah, I'm with her. <laughs> this is the reason why evildoers never succeed in their plan. 99.9% .9 of the time. Because they always just uh, delay their plan for the sake of uh build up <laughs> oh we're too young for the for the master sword yeah i understand and for our hey hey hey, hey get off thank you <laughs> For our trouble, we get our first heart container. Woohoo! Yay! Well, I know this was a very short introduction, but um, I'm actually going to go ahead and end the video here. And in the next video, we're going to do some exploration before heading off into the main next dungeon or whatever. We got to get some money, that's for sure. Um, But I think we can get some money before that time. Yeah, we should be able we should be okay so in the next video we are going to do some exploration so if you'd like to see more let's plays or weekend walkthroughs from the channel please be sure to click on the links in the description below but until then you guys take care and have an awesome day <laughs>